Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my kitchen, my cooking shop. Oh, hold on a sec. I think our game is really no straight. Oh well, doesn't matter. Hey guys, I hope you all good and well and safe and yeah. Hoping you're having a good weekend. Um, today is Sunday in Sydney, Australia. Um, yeah. And it's four, two past four. So it's nearly dinner time. Let uh, people go to church and have their dinner. And yeah, we're going to make our dinner. And today I am cooking pork ribs. Pork ribs. See? I'm putting them in two trays because they, they're very big and long. Okay. I Most people they cut in it through the, between the bone, but for me, because it's a small ribs, they're not very thick, so I'm going to keep it whole. And you cut it when you finish cooking because. If you cut it, it's, I find that it's going to be dry. But if you leave it hold and cut it after, it'll keep the moisture and all the juice floating around between them. Okay guys, um, bear with me. I hope you're all okay and well and your families. But I'm going to start on our ribs. Well, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to put a little bit of pepper. Just spray, spray a little pepper. On both trays. Yeah, bit of pepper. And I'm using um, some of this stuff. I hope you can see it and read it. Just bit of pepper and bit of that. Let's put it in both. Doesn't matter how much you add. It's your taste. Um, some of that dry herbs. Just add them, add them on. Mmm, smells beautiful. Um, I'll add some of this. Some pork herbs. You can find whatever is in your garden or when you go out shopping. Just sprinkle them on. Just lay them on. You're going to find that all, every flavor you put on your food, it's going to be, um, come out in the end. Not the other end, the end of the food. <laughs> Okay guys, um, anything else we're going to add? Now I'm going to add a little bit of lime. A little bit of lime just to wet our meat a bit. And then you get your hands and massage all those herbs in. Don't be scared to dirty your hands. We are not chefs, we are cooks. Turn it over and but don't worry about too much on the bottom because we're going to put sauce on this when I first look at these um, ribs I said to myself they look like lamb flaps but then I asked the butcher and asked the they say no they're not lamb flaps they are actually pork pork ribs so just wrap it in don't worry about the bottom so much because the bottom's gonna get the most of our sauce. Okay, guys, I'm gonna put this away. Um, rub my hands. Wipe or rub. Okay, I'll get a bowl. I'm gonna add up, make a sauce, a very sticky sauce. This is a sticky ribs. Guys, oh, why not? Cheers. Okay, what I'm gonna add is a bit of oil, vegetable oil, that is. 
we're making a sauce we're making a sticky sauce um, what I'm gonna add you can add any jam or you know fruits to the thing so I'm gonna add a couple of spoon couple or maybe the whole thing I think I'm gonna add a whole jar it's only a little jar I have to get up in the oil, in a bit of vegetable oil, we're making a sticky sauce. This is, um, well, raspberry, guys, and then mix it in. It's up to you, the recipe is, um, it's what you wanted on your meat. So, a bit of pepper. Just add the thing you already add in there. Couple of drop of limes. Let's gonna make let's make this very sticky, and it's gonna go on our meat. Okay. Um, some of the herbs again. Dry herbs. Some of this. We already add that on our meat. We let our meat sit up there and soak up all that. Herbs flavor. Okay, bit of that. Remember, guys, you add your own flavor. Um, I really want a honey in here to make it sweet and um, sour, and uh, give the stickiness to our. Oh. Sorry for the noise. We got a lot of honey in there, but I think this is enough for it. I don't want it too sweet. I want to mainly make it just a sticky sauce. See, it, guys, it's turned into a very sticky sauce. Okay, next I'm gonna add that. I don't want to say it because it might come out wrong. <laughs> Pour some of that in. Maybe three or four tablespoons. And keep mixing it. I want to make this um, peak because we've got four uh, lamb um, pork ribs. And what is cooking, we're going to reply this on our pork ribs. And yeah, what I'm going to add. A sweet chili. Three tablespoon or maybe less. I just dropped the lid in there. Oh, sorry guys. Sorry about the noise. And mix it again. Keep mixing it. Every time you add things, I must sit down. It's getting my back. Bend you go and just show you stuff. Okay. We got our mustard. Yeah, the bit of mustard. It doesn't matter what mustard is, but this is one is a seeds one. See guys, our mustard and mixing it in. This is our sauce for our sticky pork ribs. And it goes with our sweet potato. Sweet potato is beautiful, very healthy for you. Okay. Um, I'm going to add a bit of um, saltiness in there, a bit of oil in there of that, um, before it's all going on my hand. Anchovy, chili anchovy. Okay hey guys, um, let's work out how to get this out. Let's put it on a chopping board. Yeah, that's like four little pieces. Snap it up very small.
the anchovies really help our sauce to um, get that sourness out and giving the saltiness and um, yeah, the flavor. We talk about flavors here, guys. It's your recipe. For me, when I didn't practice this, practice this, I um, I see the pork ribs and I think, oh, I can really picture what can go in there. Okay guys, a little bit more oil of that anchovy. Oh beautiful. Mm. I just feel like eating it by itself, but it's really salty. Yum yum yum. Okay guys, what else we need to add in there? I think I'm gonna have to put a little bit more oil. It's a vegetable oil, but you can use any oil. Olive oil. Anything. Okay guys, while we're doing this, our pork ribs, it's soaking in that herbs. Okay. <laughs> Cheers guys. I hope you're having a good day. And thank you for watching me and my cooking. Last thing I'm going to add in here, in our sauce. Of course, it's a... Vegeta salt, vegetable salt, just a pinch, and that's it. Um, now let's um, give it a good stir, and let's get ready to. That's our sauce, guys. It's red. It's mustard. It's full of flavor. Go, let's get our ribs. There's our ribs. Let's start spooning them on. Just spoon them on. Remember guys, you can use any sweetness, any to your own flavor. But this is my way of making the pork ribs. Make sure it's all tasty and sticky and and you have to make enough sauce because when um, you're going to take it out, when you open the oven you're going to um, reply that sauce again, a little bit at a time. There you go guys, we've got another tray and got one more tray to go. Just beautiful. You're gonna when it's ready you're gonna get that mustard mustard taste. You got that flavor, all the flavor you put in, that's what you're gonna taste. Guys. Okay. Let, let's keep going with this baby. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna sit it on here for another five minutes. I just want my sauce, my sticky sauce to soak into the, the flavor, soak into our ribs. There you go guys. Let it sit for five minutes. And let's get going with another thing. Okay, that's our ribs, pork ribs. And um, bear with me. That five minutes you can sit around and have a, another sip of wine or your beer, beer and yeah, why not? I'll be back in a minute guys. Hey guys, um, while our ribs are sitting here, look, it's soaking in that sauce beautifully. It's been two minutes, I remember it was three minutes ago. Our ribs, let it. Keep soaking in that sauce. Now I've got our sweet potato. I love, love, love this sweet potato. This is beautiful potatoes. It's very sweet. Keep it the skin on because the skin is very healthy. It's got all those vitamins. What I'm going to do is a fork. Just fork them. Just roughly, not go all the way in, just to pinch the skin. 
roughly. You don't have to be beautiful for it. It's only potatoes. <laughs> but just poking holes on that skin. Because you see what I'm going to add on. Okay, all I'm going to need on this, it's pepper. Bit of pepper. White pepper or black pepper or, you know. Bit of salt. That's all our sweet potato needs. Because it's so sweet, I'm putting a bit of salt. Just a um, handful of salt. Because that potato's going to suck it in. Okay, now, that's all we got. You add some vegetable oil on each potato. Because we poke a hole in there, now you can dirty our hands. That's what I say. You better off stay, be a cook, then become a chef. Because chefs don't dirty their heads. <laughs> That's just my saying. I watch so much cooking show. And yeah. I don't have the uniform. I'm just a cook. There, yeah, you rub the salt in that skin. And you know when it's cooked, it's going to be really, really beautiful. Sweetness inside. And the saltiness outside. And that's why we poke those little holes on our sweet potatoes. Yum, yum, yum. Perfect for mashed potato. Or anything. Well, let me wipe my little finger so I can post, my, post the video. And I'll be back in a minute. Hey guys, and welcome back. Our ribs been sitting for, I say, five minutes before, but it went on ten minutes. The longer you leave it, the longer it adds the flavor soak into your meat. Okay, I'm gonna put this aside here. What I'm gonna need is some um, onions. Get onions. This onion is gonna be on the bottom of our meat to sit let our meat sit on it. I don't want our meat sit on a tray. So our tray will be get too hot. Okay. Let's cut it in a circle. I've got three onions because I've got two trays of meat. Just cut it round roughly. And then put it on the table. Let's get our meat back. Okay, our meat is marinated. Remember I didn't put any sauce on the other side, so now we're going to dirty our hands. What we're going to do, we're just going to flip it over and spoon some of our sauce on the other side. Here you go guys. And just sweep it around. So as I cover all our meat, our whole meat, even on the side. Yeah. So cover. I use a spoon. Yeah, then turn it back off. See all the marinator on it on that thing on the tray? Let's lift it up and put it back on our meat. Okay, we're gonna do the same on the other side. Um, I want my people over here, the family here, to be quiet while I'm doing my video. Eh? Or otherwise you two can get out. Sorry guys. It's hard to um, cook when um, people interrupt you. <laughs> Not my video. Not my cooking. I usually cook in a quiet kitchen. Okay, let's do the same on the other side of this. Just put a bit of sauce. And rub it around. Make sure the whole meat is covered with your marinade. Okay, turn the other one over. Do the same. Our sweet potatoes in the oven now. Because they cook, take a while to cook. And see how much sauce I've got in there guys. Because halfway through or 
Put away of straight up cooking. You have to put the meat out and put more sauce on it. Okay, let's turn it over again. And don't forget to sweep all that sauce up back onto our, to the top of our meat. You guys, do the same to the other one. Get all the sauce. Take your time and enjoy cooking. Don't let anything interrupt you. It's the way of working in our kitchen. <laughs> okay guys, now our meat's there. What I'm gonna do now with our onions. Oh, our onions. What I'm doing for onions, put it under. It's with skin. We have the onion on under the meat. The onions. Just to hold the meat off the tray. And they're giving that the meat um, a beautiful flavour. Onions get it to my eyes. Yeah. We do the other one, other tray. It doesn't have to hold the meat up. It's um, it's giving the flavour up when the onions gonna cook, and they got a gas and the flavour say will oh, come up to our meat. Yeah. Doing this. Give my hand a little wipe. Now we add a. Bit of oil on the tray. No, on our meat. We already got flavors on our meat. Just the oil so that our tray doesn't get burned at the bottom. Okay, we'll do the other one. And let running around. Yeah. Well, and the next thing now we've got all our marinade on our meat. I'm going to add some garlic. I peel the skin of our garlic. You can just throw the whole garlic in there. But I just like the bit of garlic in now. Yeah. I'm it. Get a fork. Get more garlic. Take your time guys, it's a, cooking is fun. No brushes, regardless what the words around you is like. <laughs> no. Yeah, and then our teacher. Piece of teacher, got a skin on. Just crying around. Mmm, smells beautiful. Tell so you guys, if you're here, you can almost just scrap that meat and eat now. Okay, that's going in the oven. I'm going to cover with foil. I do the same on the other tray. Bear with me, guys. I'm trying to not make a long video for you. I'm just giving you little ideas. Yeah. Squeeze. Use a bit of muscles in there. What the muscles you got in uh, your arms? <laughs> yeah. Just a garlic and teacher on top. And it's not going to burn because we're going to cover this with foil. Squeeze it. Then. Be great on our meat. The flavour. It's unbelievable. It's flavor to serve the king. But when we enjoy cooking and doing our our parts, of course we are all king. And queens. <laughs> there you go guys. Now all I'm gonna do is this meat, everything's added. And we put our foil. 
And we're going to cover it with foil. And put it in the oven. We're gonna, I'm going to cook this in 200 degrees. Or the mid heat because we don't want our food to be, our ribs to be dry or fake. We want it, the sauce to drink all that sauce and turn sticky when it's cooked. So okay guys, what I'm doing is putting this in the oven. And I'm gonna cover the other one. Okay guys, bear with me. Cheers. I had a couple of drinks already. I'm about to put this in the oven and um, yeah, um, Yesterday or Friday I went shopping for these ribs and stuff and then I pop into um, one of my subscribers. Shout out to you brother. Thank you for popping in and say hello and um, yeah, and take a photo of me <laughs> and us. Um, I very appreciate it. You know, If you guys see me out there, don't be shy. Just pop in and say hello. You got to remember when you subscribe, I don't see you. I don't know who it is, but if you see me out there, don't be shy to come up and say hello. Take a photo or two, have a laugh, there. and let me know that you are following me and watching my cooking. Okay guys, it's enough of that talk, I'm going to go in and put this in the oven. Be back in a minute. Hi hey guys, and welcome back. Um, I've got the ribs now out of the oven. The foil, oh, it's really hot. Cheers. I tell you, we're gonna add more of our sauce. See, that's why you make more sauce. Okay, it's really, really hot. And it's got, oh, don't burn your hands. Just feel that lie of the. What is it? Oh, my fridge is not shut. You can show it yourself. See guys, now there's a boiling spot. Our ribs, got a lot of juice on the bottom. The flavour, a little bit closer. Guys, okay, now we are adding our sticky, sticky things. I'm not going to lie to you, a strawberry jam, add it into our sauce. That will help to make our sticky sauce. And last is a peanut butter. So fridge, I'll get up in a minute and shut you down. Before I went off on my to my household for um, making all that noise. <laughs> okay, so I guess I'm gonna shut this. Oh, I'm sure it's shut. Okay, peanut butter and strawberry jam. Let's mix it all up. It's up to you guys, you can just eat it like this, but I wanted my sticky lamb, uh, pork ribs to be flavorable. Okay, it's a matter of now, we're adding our sticky. Sticky, sticky, sticky. <laughs> yeah, the tinges on top, everything. It looks like it's been boiled, but what it does is giving the flavor to our, a beautiful flavor onto our meat. Okay, just spray it around, peanut butter, the same sauce, and now it's a matter of taking in in the oven and cook it, cook it off 
we've got a lot of sauce on the bottom to eat this with foil off take the foil off now and just let the oven do this job Okay, guys, I'm going to put this in the oven and get the other one and do the same. Foil off. It's been uh, in there for half an hour. On the foil, cover with foil. Now I add a sticky bit. Okay, I'll be back in a minute. Guys, here's our other tray. Let's get the foil out. Don't burn your finger. There. Oh, the beautiful smell that come out of that. Guys, just beautiful. Everything you put in there, that's what you can smell. Then I'll do the same. Spoon off our sticky sauce on there. And this is our last cooking bit. Keep, take the foil out, a sticky sauce. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Guys, be nice to your food and your food will be nice to you. <laughs> just beautiful. And that ribs is just look ready to eat. <laughs> okay guys. Look at all that um, herbs, everything. Just delicious. I can just like rip it into it now. <laughs> if it was a lamb, I will. But this is pork. So, okay, guys, we get our ribs back into the oven with no foil. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, guys, and here's our sweet, sweet, sweet potato. It's ready. Just been cooked. We let it settle for a couple of minutes while we're waiting for our sticky pork ribs to um, be cooked. It's already cooked, but we're just putting that top so um, soil now on top of it. Okay, guys, um, thank you for holding on and um, spending your time for watching my video. Cheers. And yeah, you, um, like I tell you, I told my family off before, I was making a lot of noise in the background of my video. Yeah, I'm trying to be professional here. <laughs> but thank you. If you see me out there, like I said again, if you see me out there, don't be shy to say hello. Just wave, say hello. It's YouTube stuff. Okay, guys, um, well, I'll be back in a minute when it's all these ready. Okay, bear with me. Hey guys, um, see that little jam jar? It's real glass. That'll be perfect. Don't throw them out. It's gonna be my coffee cup. I'm sick. No more cup. So why not be cool? Maybe um, glass of wine or. Cup of coffee or moonshine? <laughs> I I think uh, the moonshine in America is uh, like a a goon in Australia. The wine, the wine goon. Sorry, guys, I'm not calling you goons. It's that's what I I drink the goons, the cheap wine. But hey, it gets you there. It makes you happy. Gets you doing what you need to do. Cheers, guys. Oh. I love you guys and um, thank you for spending your time watching me going on like an idiot. <laughs> yeah, and uh, if you, I say it again, if you see me out there, don't be shy. I'm, a, I'm the most shy person. And people say, oh, how can you be shy on the YouTube? Well, don't you see? <laughs> Just come up and say hello. Yeah, why not? If I know when you are there, you are my subscriber out there in the middle, you know, everywhere I go, I'll be like hugging and kissing you. <laughs> but I do not know who 
is subscribing to me, you know, on emails and stuff. But thank you. Thank you for being there and showing your appreciate it. Did I say push it? <laughs> oh, okay, let's um, post this video and I'll get back to you when the food is ready. <laughs> Oh, I can't wait to eat this food. The whole has a smell like the cooking, the pork ribs. And yeah. I wish I could feed my neighbor, but I think my neighbors are going to sleep. It's too cold. Okay, guys, stop talking and I'll, I'll get back to you. <sighs> Still waiting for our ribs. It's, um, it's getting a brown. That's what we need to get that brownness. And um, our sticky sauce to soak into our. Excuse me, our pork ribs. Guys, um, I know life is very, the human mind is very powerful. If you're ever feeling down and I tell you, you pick up the phone, pick up that phone and call families, family members, um, friends, you know, and talk to them, have a talk. Don't think what is in your mind, it's what it's called, is everybody can see. What's in your mind that people can't see what's in your mind. But you've got to speak your mind, pick up the phone, when you're feeling down and low. Here, yeah, take a chance. Visit the neighbours, go visit old friends, have a drink, have a talk, talk things out. Don't keep it inside, because, you know, we all have our downers. But, guys, young people out there, you've got to start talking. Start talking to your family, start talking to friends. Um, yeah, explain what your problem is, um, how, what you, how you feel inside. Yeah. We all have, we all human and we all have that down side of our selves. I've been there, back and forth there, but hey, I'm not rich. I don't have everything that everybody else have. I don't, you know, have a fancy car, I don't have a fancy house, but hey, I'm here. And if you need me, and if you need a shoulder to cry on, I'm here. We are all the same and don't be shame. Yeah. Life is a roller coaster. But you guys and young people out there, take your time. Don't rush into things. If you if you did rush into things, then hey expect it. To sit back and think, oh, I did, I did rush. Okay, guys, um, take your time. Spend time with families. Don't keep secrets from families. If you can't tell families the truth and in honestly with, see what I use. I have a better drink, and I'd be able to 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 show family how I feel actually really feel inside yeah. it's a true love it's a story that you can tell oh now let's get back to our food yeah you got to be honest with yourself human brain is a very powerful thing what do you think right now it's not what you gonna think tomorrow or the next week or the that next year, you know, you might have something better coming, you know, more powerful, more beautiful, more excited. So how long to a life? And when you fall off to your horse, get back on it. Just get back on that horse and keep on riding it. You say to yourself, uh, one day I will be able to not be able to fall off that horse. <laughs> okay, guys. Let's stop talking for me now and um, keep that food going. It smells so beautiful in here. And yeah, I hope everybody enjoyed it too. <laughs>
Wait, wait, guys. Stop talking. Yeah. Hi, guys. And welcome back. Um, yeah. My ribs are ready now. Look at all that juice. Yeah. My pork ribs are really, really, really. Mmm, mmm. And our potatoes are, yeah, been ready for a while. Yeah. That's our ribs, guys. Just yum. It's got a melt in your mouth and that juice on the bottom with all the onion you put on the bottom. It's beautiful. It's going to be yum, yum, yum. Okay, I've got another tray in the oven now. It's ready to. I have to show you that one. Here, guys. Got two tray of oh pork ribs. Just get my towel out of it. Yummy! Look at that juice. It is still red. It will melt in your mouth. And yum with a sweet potato. Mm -mm. So you take your time, guys, for cooking and. Look, it's still bubbling from the heat. Yeah, and um, thank you. I hope you try my recipe tonight. And um, I hope you um, enjoy it. Give your own flavor. Take time. Sit back, have a drink, have a coffee with friends and families. Yeah, by the time you turn around, it's all ready. Just a matter of the first sauce and then the second sauce. And eat it with our sweet potato. Mmm, -hmm. yum. Bella, Bella, Bella. <laughs> That's what Italians call it. Beautiful. Beautiful food. Okay, guys. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to save a little break for us to taste. And bear with me. Hi, guys. Now we're going to just taste some. Mmm. Oh. Sweet potato, excuse me, and I'm gonna cut it. Like, look at that knife just slides through like butter. Mmm. It's just me and Grace here, and we gonna eat our dinner. <laughs> Grace just staring at the TV. Um, what I'm gonna add on there. It's a little bit of salt mm, and um, fresh cream yum. on a sweet potato. Mm, mm, mm. Yummy. Is your fork? Thanks, Uncle. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, bad luck for every. It's not. It's gonna slip eh? Yeah, now we're gonna have a cut our piece of meat. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Look at that guys. Our ribs. Sticky ribs. Okay, Grace. Enjoy yourself. Are you going to eat it too? Mm hmm I'm gonna start off with the potato. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so Hey yeah, guys, our sticky ribs. I to know that I like mm. potatoes. <laughs> yeah, and uh, some. You want an onion? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Grace is going for it. Didn't even say prayer. <laughs> oh, I always say a prayer after that. And that's our sauce. Let's show people how we, what we're eating here. Here's our sauce, guys. Our sticky ribs. And our sweet potatoes. And our, mm, the onions on the bottom of our ribs. Okay, enjoy. Ooh, onion. Mm. Yum, yum. Mm. Look, guys, that's our ribs. Just rip it up and eat it. Yum, yum, yum. The tray is still hot. Oh, yes, it is. 
Here guys again, our um, pork ribs and we put it on the side and me and Chris gonna eat our dinner. Oh, she's already gone for it. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. And if you are sad and not happy, that's always somebody will listen. Okay, this thing's just flying over me. And that's our other tray. Excuse me, Chris. And our other ribs. Mmm, mmm, mmm. It's got that juice. Okay, guys, thank you for watching and thank you for your time. And I hope you all stay safe. And we will we'll see you in the next video. Grace eating all the food. Hey, Grace. Got a sweet potato with cream. Mmm. Grace, when you eat your rib? And look at this. So much flavor. Hey okay, guys, thank you for watching and thank you for your time. And I will see you in the next video. God bless, bless and much love. Take care.